Hi folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It is 17 days until the total solar eclipse. So you still have time to prep up and be ready. The total solar eclipse will take place across the United States, directly impacting 13 states and numerous metropolitan areas, including Dallas, Fort Worth, Little Rock, Indianapolis, Cleveland, and Buffalo. Here in the United States, an estimated 32 million people are living within the path of totality. It will begin in Texas at 1.27 p.m. Central Daylight Time and end in Maine at 3.35 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Millions more will travel to the affected areas to see the event firsthand. Areas directly in the path of totality will experience up to 4 minutes and 27 seconds of darkness, nearly double of the last Great American Eclipse in 2017. Many states within the solar eclipse path of totality have issued warnings in the weeks leading up to the astronomical phenomenon. The path of totality will start in Mexico and extend across Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, New York, Pennsylvania, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine before heading out over the Atlantic Ocean. There's at least four states, maybe more, within the path of totality that have urged residents to stock up on groceries before the eclipse. Some officials have issued disaster declarations ahead of the event, and some schools have decided to close, citing student safety. There in Texas, they are telling people to stock up on groceries and gas and run any errands such as filling prescriptions in the days before the eclipse. They're also urging pet owners to stock up on supplies for their animals. Kern County Judge Rob Kelly issued a disaster declaration in which he said that the influx of visitors could drain our food and fuel supplies and strain our city and county infrastructure to quite to quite possibly over capacity. Oklahoma is also warning its citizens to prepare. They said that Oklahoma could be overwhelmed and back up the area's road systems. They are saying that besides groceries and gas, to implement several forms of communication outside of cellular phones and fill up the gas tanks. Yeah, figure out some other way other than, yeah, your phones to communicate with people. I don't know how you would do that. Maybe um, ham radios, walkie-talkies, I don't know. Do you have any idea what type of communication they're recommending um, when the cell service is overwhelmed and goes down? If there's a disaster, some sort of emergency, how would you contact 911? They're in out. Ohio, they are telling residents besides food and gas to keep snacks and water in case of a long delays. Keep those in your car and also at home. Indiana is warning residents to prepare and to prepare for overwhelming traffic. State officials suggest keeping cell phones charged, stocking up on essentials, and filling cars with gas ahead of the eclipse. Missouri and New York are also warning people to avoid traffic, if at all possible. One of the states that have closed schools is Kentucky. Ohio is warning travelers. They're urging them to arrive early and stay late to avoid the heaviest traffic. They are urging people to have a preparedness kit for their vehicle, including items like snacks, drinks, cash cell phone chargers, and blankets. They are also saying it's a good idea to have a family communication plan to ensure you know how to reconnect in case you get separated from friends or family at a large gathering. Make sure children have contact information for parents or guardians with them. Due to the potential for cell phone service interruptions, travelers are urged to have a paper map with them to assist in navigation. 
Also there in Ohio, the Turnpike Service Plaza will extend their hours of operation and increase staffing and supplies. Gasoline and diesel fuel deliveries will also be increased. There in Bloomington, Indiana, they are also canceling school from K to 12. Um, also, they're also including uh, Monroe County and Indianapolis Public Schools. Also there in Indiana, safety agencies are expecting an increased number of calls to 911 dispatch centers and strains on the cellular networks and Wi-Fi in infrastructures. The Indiana University Public Safety plans to have a first aid and information stations in three locations throughout the campus. Because of expected traffic and possible road closures, officers will plan to use bicycles, motorcycles, and golf carts to maneuver around traffic. There in Oklahoma, the Oklahoma National Guard has been called to assist agencies in southeastern Oklahoma uh, during the next month's coming eclipse. The Guardsmen will be working alongside local agencies all across Oklahoma. The National Guard is also going to provide McCurran County first respond responders with additional hazmat response capabilities. The Oklahoma National Guard said in the event of a hazmat emergency, such as an industrial fire or another emergency that requires specialized training, the 63rd CST will be able to respond so local emergency official, officials can continue to assist citizens and visitors. The National Guard there have received training from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Department of Energy, and the Department of Justice, and the Environment Protection Agency, they said. I'll give you a link to this. Um, Oklahoma Transportation has a map showing the area of total eclipse for Texas and Arkansas. Um, it's kind of hard to move it around, though. The total solar eclipse will begin there in Oklahoma at 1.44 p.m. Central Daylight Time and will end at 1.51 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Here's a map showing the path for the eclipse going across the United States. My greatest worry would be a terrorist attack. We all know about the influx of the illegal aliens coming into the United States. Uh, one man was recently arrested, um, and he was on the terrorist watch list. I'll give you a link to this here, too. It says, uh, terrorist arrested at border in Texas. Uh, Lebanese migrant apprehended near El Paso, Texas, reportedly claims Hezbollah terrorists. Lebanese national claims he was heading to New York and wanted to make a bomb. These criminals will be looking for areas uh, where there's lots of people. Yeah, um, maybe a suicide bomber, whatever, to um, do their dirty deeds. They don't come here because they love America. No, they hate America. They don't come here because uh, they want a better life. I'm sure you've heard about all the illegals who are now becoming squatters in people's homes. So you might go to this event to watch the solar eclipse and come back and find out that your home has been taken over by illegals while you were gone. Always be prepared for a disaster. Don't set yourself up to be a victim. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.